There are many ways of playing Magic the Gathering, and Modern is one of the most popular formats to do so. It's a 1v1 format where you can play any card printed since 2003. That's a lot of powerful cards. We've had our subscribers vote for one deck to champion every year of Modern's history. And then we had a team of competitive Magic players play all the decks through four rounds of Swiss. And we finally have it. We have a top eight of what could easily be the most powerful deck in one of Magic the Gathering's most powerful formats. And we will bring you all of the single elimination rounds and after seven videos we will be able to name one deck the best modern deck ever. Andrea, last time we faced in this room for this kind of tournament I lost you in the finals. Yes. Do you want okay. a high roll? Let's do it. Oh no! Bloom Titan this is looking bad. I'm Very gonna good. play. One of my first Pro Tours, I was playing this deck, Pro Tour San Diego. I think everyone misses this deck. Let's see if they're right about it. Though. Okay, so my hand does exactly what Jund does. Thoughtsy, Dark Confident, Liliana. I love this deck. I played Jund for a long time back in the days. I played it at PT San Diego 2012. Uh, fun story is that at that PT, I did not play that Thrush Shaman. The card just got released. Back in the days, we didn't have as much as information. I just played Kitchen Things, and obviously, at that tournament, people exiled a lot of my Kitchen Things. But then, a few weeks later, I won a PTQ with this, very similar to this list, with De um, Death Rush Shaman and Bloodbird Elf. The, deck got soon, the, the Bloodbird Elf got soon banned, and then Death Rush Shaman a few later. So, I'm really excited to play Jand in this tournament. I'm keeping, my hand looks great. So, you might have noticed that this hand has a lot of lands, which tells a lot about my deck. Unfortunately, I don't need all these lands, so I'm gonna have to mulligan. It's okay, my deck is made to mulligan. That's what they say. Now that is a Titan hand. Very importantly, we have a card in it that is now banned. It's Summer Bloom. And the reason that card is banned, usually two mana to play three lands is not that good in Magic. It's, it's okay, I mean, it's you, you ramp three lands, but you need to have three extra lands at hand to play it, but in this deck, you get to do something special. Because if you have an amulet of vigor in play, every time a land would enter tapped, it instead untapped. Meaning that if you have one amulet in vigor play, anytime you play a bounce land, for example, which is a land that taps for two, but enters tapped and returns a land to your hand, you could just play a bounce land and it generates you two mana because it untaps and you can pay two before you have to bounce it back thanks to the amulet of vigor. So playing two mana to play an amulet of bloom when you have a bounce land, an amulet of vigor just generates six mana automatically, which means I can play a titan on turn two for that six mana. If I have two amulets of vigor, it generates even more. It goes to insane amounts. This hand is good. We'll keep it. Andrea, this is the perfect hand. Let's go. Wait, I have to get rid of one of them. I was trying to read the card Thoughts is in German, but it's way too long for me to read it. That's all German. And oh, just one single sentence. No. Show me. Show me. Andrea. At least, at least, please take the time to appreciate how perfect this hand was. Wow. All right. <laughs> turn two kill. <laughs> what yeah. is it? Yeah, I uh, play this, and then on turn two, I play, yeah, you I play, play this, Titan play this, two. play, yeah. Summer Bloom. Go ahead, good thing I won the die roll. <laughs> yeah, because my hand is a lot worse now. I'm gonna play a single ghost corner and pass the turn. <laughs> All right, I'll play a new Black Cliff Cliff and I'll play a Dark Confidant in a world without Brandon Six and Orkish Bowmaster. This card rocked. I'll draw. I'm gonna play some in Grove Chamber and return the Ghost Quarter back to my hand. This is gonna be doing a lot of bouncing back and forth. Yeah. Dark Confidant triggers. Woo! <laughs> That's a lot of damage. All right, and I also noticed that this Blubber Elf wears some sun sunglasses. Andrea, this is you. We had. Sauce, Sophia, uh, an Italian content creator, and Alter, she's really good, she does delightful content. We had her Andrea Mengucci-fy, this blood braid. Yeah, four? Oh no, don't put us on no, the no, spot no, like that, we only have one. And I just flipped it? Yeah, you just flipped it. Uh. I put it in your deck because I thought it'd be whimsical and fun. It's a gift for you, you can go back to Italy with that. Yeah, it feels like this was staged, but it actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> they just flipped the one. Now when you play your blood braid, I'll still stare back at you. All right, I'll go to 14 then. Yes. Draw for turn. I'll uh, take two more. Wow. I don't think damage matters in this matchup. After, after you take four, it doesn't anymore. I'll play Liliana of the Veil. Okay. I'm sure you have a lot of things to discard. I do. 
And boom. 18. Go ahead. The race is on. Use the blue and float a green to serum visions. I, I don't even get to preordain. I'll bottom both. So usually summer bloom is meant to be played with amulet of vigor, but we do not currently have that luxury because we're gonna beat down. Uh, so we are gonna have to play it the honest way. We're gonna play it just to play a land, bounce land, tap something, play another land, get to play another bounce land. Because if we untap with six mana, we get to play Titan after Titan. And I, I know Andrea probably has a lot of removal, but it'll be really hard to go through that. And then with the floating green, I'll play the Ghost Quarter. I am gonna run through the Amulet Bloom. I need to develop my mana. This is a banned card, Andrea. Yeah, it's a banned, it's a banned card. And then people go like, oh, you should have banned Summer Bloom. So I get to pay three extra lands this turn. That's a lot. Usually, it looks a lot better than it will this turn. I played Ghost Quarter. I'm gonna play Gruel Turf. Yes. It's gonna bounce back Ghost Quarter. I'm gonna play Ghost second. Quarter. That's a second. And then I'll play Boros Garrison, which okay. will effectively bounce back my Ghost Quarter. Okay, so you have six mana for the two Titans in your hand. Yes. It's not great, then. Not in a great shape. Are confident. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay. Speaking of my Titans. Ten. If you just play Titan without Amulet, it, you don't get haste. This actually have time to edict to you. Okay, so there is a Primeval Titan coming down from Carl's side next turn, but I can't hold up Terminate. I can't play around him going land, amulet, primeval titan. Also, that's just very unlikely to happen if I have this land the veil taken up. So I just have to play this Bloodbird Elf and let's see what Cascade does. Top it out. Because I need to pressure you, like two titans eventually arrive. So we do this wonderful mechanic that's Cascade. Drink it's cap. a very skill intensive mechanic. <laughs> yes, it is. You reveal from the top of your deck. Because, like, nowadays, Cascade is uh, deterministic. You only put four Crushing Footfalls, four Living Gen. But back in the days, it used to be random. We're Cascading and uh, whatever... Just an honest Cascade. Yeah, whatever costs less than four comes into play. That You spoke of pressure. And uh, attack you for five. Let's discard a card. Ghost Quarter. Uh, I have instant... Is that no, sorcery? Sorcery, yeah. sorcery, sorcery, artifact land. Three, four, then. Let's put it here. Yeah, because it's not counters. Yeah, remember back in the days, the Thermoth was a playable card. The people had the, 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 the dice. The custom dice with the, yeah. the lower number and the yeah. bigger number. You would yeah. be kind of laughed at if you still carried those two yeah. dice. <laughs> Go ahead. I draw. I'm sure you have a very difficult turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want. yeah, it's not it's not easy. I also need to pick which lands I go get, yeah. which is pretty relevant here. No, no, for sure. Yeah, I am going to play, you know about these. I'm going to play for my people time. It's got an enter the battlefield effect. So it has a Liliana of the Veil on the board, which is really good against Titans usually, because I don't have haste with my Titan. He just sits on the board and hopes to attack next turn. But if Andrea minuses it, then he gets to take out my Titan. Uh, luckily, uh, this deck cleverly has a Calumny Garden. So I can go get the Calumny Garden. I can put it into play. I get a 0-1 that if Andrea minuses it, he gets a 0-1 and I get to keep my Titan. But not only that, if I get a bounce land, I get to return the Calumny Garden into hand and then play it again for my turn, getting two plants to either block to defend my Titan. So I'm gonna get a Kalni Garden and a Simic Growth Chamber. Oh, that's good. I've entered the battlefield effect. Kalni Garden will create a plant token when it enters the battlefield, and Simic Growth Chamber will bring the Kalni Garden back to my hand. And now, because I do have to make a land drop, oh, I have a Kalni Garden in my hand. And although you have an onslaught, I think this is a pretty good start. Okay, yeah, you know about my Terminate. Yeah, I, I know this Titan's not gonna last long. Luckily, I have a backup. Let's see what does my Dark Confident bring me. Ooh. Ooh. And I'll go for my turn. Terminate on the yeah, Titan. Yeah, that one was obvious. That does tick up your Tarmogoyf. To five, actually. And uh, swing. I will block here and take five. Yeah, you go to eight. And then I will uh, tick up Liliana. Yes. Do you have a Thoughtseize? No, no, no. I have a Thresham. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you have quite a board now. Yep. If only I had an amulet. Yeah. <laughs> I will pay six. Yeah. I'll play Primeval Titan. You were expecting this. This thing is really tough to play, Andrea, but I think my plan here is to get a Slayer Stronghold, but it's tapped. Your plan? This is my plan here. And then I'll get a Gruel Turf, because I'll Bounce back to Slayer Stronghold, and then I get to play a land for turn. Go ahead. So I'll play the Slayer Stronghold. I will tap Slayer Stronghold yeah. and my Boris Garrison, yeah. which will give my Premium Evil Titan plus two plus zero, and it gains Vigilance and Haste until end of turn. Meaning it won't be able to block and attack now. And it has at nine. And I could attack for eight, 
down to Don and Andrea's life total, and he does have a Dark Confident on the board. I could potentially just win immediately, but a Dark Confident often reveals lands, which deals zero damage, and if he blocks with the Death Rite Shaman, he gives himself a few draws, and then if he uses those draws to draw anything like a Blightning, a Lightning Bolt, a Terminate, any removal spell, another Liliana, I'm dead. And I don't want to put myself in a spot where I'm dead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the Liliana, I'm going to develop my mana, I'm going to build myself a board state with the Colony Gardens and buffering up my life total where I'm not dead, and then next turn, I can just take him out. It gives him two turns of Dark Confidence triggers. I will attempt to attack your Liliana. I have a trigger. I'm relieved to see Carl attacking uh, Liliana the Veil instead of me because, you know, that 8 damage plus a Dark Confident and I'm a 9, I was kind of scared to die to my own Dark Confident in this game. And I'll go get two cards. I'll get a Radiant Fountain. Okay. And a Vazufa. Okay. Vazufa will enter the battlefield, tap, as a copy of my Kelny Gardens, which will get me another plant. And you still have to deal yeah, with this attacking Primeval Titan. Mm -hmm. I I, you're not gonna block. I can't save it because it's eight power. So Liliana that does put your Tarmogoyf up to six. That's nice. I'll pass it on to you. Confident trigger. Ooh. Uh, draw for turn. I don't have too many lines, so I just have to play an Arbor Another Arbor. one. Let's see what I cascade into. Yes. Oh, a Maelstrom Pulse would be game over. Let's see. The skillful mechanic. Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have in hand? I'll land. So, uh, man, I'm an eight life. It's not a great life. You can pump your Titan to yes, an can. eight. Yeah, I feel like I just block your Titan and kill it, and then hope to draw another removal for your next Titan. I'll play a tap land. Yes. And pass the turn. I will draw. I'll play a gemstone. A gemstone mine? He made a land drop. Write it down. <laughs> Write it the down. Question, oh. Did I make a land drop? It's gonna come up. Look okay. at the Vision. Go ahead. I'll draw a card. Oh, wow. What is it? I'll scry too. It, the scrying doesn't matter. I will play an Amulet of Vigor. Oh, no. Now it starts. Before going to attacks, yes. I am going to give this plus two plus zero on Vigilance and Heist, but it doesn't matter anymore. Yes. I'm gonna declare attacks. Yes. yes. I have a trigger. I'm gonna do that cool thing that Titan nerds do all the time, and I love it. And when I first started playing Modern, I was so confused. Talaria West enters tapped. I will untap them with the Amulet of Vigor, and then there'll be a trigger on the stack. So you go to blocks. A, that's an 8-6. It's currently an 8-6. Trample, of course. Yes, with Vigilance. I'll uh, double block it with a 6-7 and a 3-2. The Tarmogoyf dies. Congratulations, you took down my Primeval Titan. It's over. And yeah, you, how will I ever recover? I have a Talaria West. I'm gonna tap blue and blue. Yeah, you have one green floating. Did I play a land this time? Yes, <laughs> yes played it. I'm going to transmute with the Talaria West and go get a Summoner's Pact. Okay, cast it. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast Summoner's Pact. I'm gonna put a dice on top of my library. Uh, it will go there soon because yeah. if, I pay, if I forget to pay it, I just lose the game. The rules have been changed. It's very hard for you to lose the game now. Very good. Very because good. Because I'm going to play a Primeval Titan. I'll just use the green mana here. This is actually green because it's a Colony Garden. Right. And these two. And I'll have another trigger on the stack. Yes. I will get a Tolaria West and a Vesuva. Tolaria West will into the battlefield and tap. It's so well the Vesuva, but it'll come in as a Simic Grove Chamber. It will bounce back to Tolaria West because this is not thought feasible. I can get my Titan next turn. And this is just an untapped Simic Grove Chamber. And I'll pass the turn to you. All right, you did a lot of things, but at the end of the Have day... Have you seen my lands? We traded a Titan for a Tarmogoy. Untap, Dark Confident triggers. Ooh. Light bulb. Down to seven. Draw. Yes. Unfortunately, Carl, I don't really have great attacks. Are you just going to pass the turn? I'm just going to pass the turn. I love that. Uh, I will. I will pay for my pact. Grill Turf. These two Calendly Gardens. I'll draw for turn. Serum Visions. Bottom, bottom. I will float a green to play Tlaria West. I won't play it, I'll transmute it. Because it costs zero, I get to go into my library and get another card that costs zero, which in this case will be a Summoner's Pact. Yeah. I will play the Summoner's Pact. And you have one green floating. I have one green currently floating. I'm gonna use it to play the Primeval Titan I just brought to my hand. When it enters the battlefield, I'll have a trigger. I will go get a 
Sun Home Fortress. I will get a Grill Turf. So they will enter the battlefield tapped, but I will have a trigger. So I'll untap these two. Yes. Grill Turf will bring back a land I haven't played to my hand. Yes. I will play that Vesufa that I just land brought drop. back. This is my land drop, yes. Thank you, Andrea. It's gonna copy Boros Garrison yes. and come into play untapped. I will bounce back Vesufa. I'm gonna use Boros Garrison and Slayer Stronghold to give, I forget which one I just played. The one I just played. <laughs> Haste and Vigilance and plus two plus zero. It's over. I will declare my attack. Yeah. I have a trigger. I have another trigger. I don't want to. I don't want to see your triggers. You don't want to see my triggers. See. <laughs> okay. Next game. Okay. So sideboarding. I'm bringing a bunch of answers to the Amulet of Vigor, a couple of Ancient Grudge, the Erectus Charm, which I can just randomly burn him out if he has a lot of plant tokens, and then finally the fourth Tossies. So siding with these engine decks is tough because every piece of the engine inside the deck goes to furthering my game plan. It's all cogs in the great machine. But I do have some cards I want to bring in. Hornet Queen, for example, staves off a lot of removal and can potentially wipe a board if he attacks into it. I also, I want these Lane of Sanctities because Andrea has a lot of discard and that's the main way that the any discard deck can beat the Titan deck because if you get rid of the key parts in my hand, I'm just digging for the replacements for them. I also, he's going to be discarding a lot of stuff and Lillian picking up is really punished if I get to discard an obstinate Bala. Andrea, you have to defend the Jund deck. The deck of the people. I want to win this, but I mean, I made a whole video about this with Reed Duke. I, I want Jund. It came third in the Swiss. You, If you want to see the Swiss results, uh, there's a link in the description below. You can go click. You can find out everything about how it happened in the Swiss, the rankings of each deck before the top eight. A lot of information down there. I'm keeping. I'll keep as well. Uh, Swamp Inquisition of Kozalek. I was expecting that. Oh, Swamp, okay. This time my hand is pretty redundant. I'll disc... <laughs> you couldn't even, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind. Even. I'll just go to Searings. Okay. And go ahead. I will draw. And currently I have no other choice than to run out of Conley Gardens. It will give me a plant. I'll go. go. Fetch a Petra, uh, a Shelf Land, so i 16, Stomping Ground. All right. And I'll play it hard. That's clock. Quick count. Two. Go. Untap. Draw. I'll go digging. Ancient stirrings. I look at the top five cards in my library. I reveal a colorless card from any among them, put into my hand. This is a little tough, but I'll just show you a Golgari Rot Farm. And then I'll play a Simic Growth Chamber. Bring this back to my hand. All right, you have seven cards. If only I didn't thought it, you go to this card. Yeah, I'll <laughs> pass to you. Draw. I will play a Thoughtsies. Ah, there it comes. So this time you know about these. I also have a secret second Seren Vision and a Toyari West. I'll go for the Primeval. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I thank you for three. I'll take three. I'll uh, help you more going to 12. Wow. And I'll play a Dark Confident. Helping me even more. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I don't have much to do with my hand anymore. <laughs> Start off by yep. using a blue floating a green yep. for a Serum Visions. I'll draw. I'll scry two. This will be on top. This will be on bottom. I still have a green floating. Unfortunately, I don't have much to do with it. Play Calmly Gardens again. Far more plans. Okay. And the green will disappear and I'll pass you. On top, Dark Confident for a tap land, and then I draw. I will start by attacking with both. I'll take five. You got a 12. There's a lot of fear around uh, playing a second Dark Confident, because it can kill you. I mean, it can kill you, that's true, but in this matchup, a card that's not gonna do me that much damage, and also, like, I need pressure, I need cards in it. I need to play the second Dark Confident here. I just have to go all in Dark Confident. Wow, if okay. you flip, to... Let's not think about it. <laughs> it's nothing about your impending doom. I will draw. It's not going to deal me any damage. I'm going to float a green again. Play a Serum Visions. Draw a card. That would have been pretty good if I still had Azuzas in my deck. Look at the top two. Put this on top. This on bottom. I still don't have anything to do with green, so I'll play a Golgari Rot Farm. Bringing this County Gardens back to my hand. So you have now County Garden in hand. Seven cards again. Seven cards again. Really good at card. not discarding. Yeah. And I will pass you. 
All right, I'm at 12 life with two dark confidence. Okay, time to flip. Andrea, we're going down a winding road. Wow. Three damage. Okay. And you draw for turn. You might have to go to discard. <laughs> no. <laughs> this doesn't matter. Who knows that they're going to play out their spells. Now I might start having to block. So I'll, I'll throw a plant in front of a goyf. Yeah, you go to eight. I'll play a Death Rush Shaman okay. and a Tarmogoy. And one more tap. You turn. I will untap. I'm at nine. Very safe. Put two Dark Confident in play. You're so close to being dead. No, you have nothing. You have three permanents. So close to being dead. How can you heal me? I have ten permanents. I have eight cards in hand. <laughs> if only I had one more mana. <laughs> and I didn't get rid of my amulet before, I could win here. Because I play Hive Mind, which would allow me to play Summoner's Pact, and then Andrea on his upkeep wouldn't be able to pay for it and would lose. Fortunately, not only can I not pay it, but he also has a Death Rite Shaman, meaning he can exile a land to create the second green to pay for the pact, and he wouldn't die. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to play the Baloth here. It's going to make us a blocker. It's going to gain four life. And we're going to use the Colony Garden to create another blocker and play the Amulet so that if we untap, if we play the Titan, we get enough mana, thanks to the Amulet, to play the Hive Mind and then go get a Pact of Negation, which Andrea cannot pay for because he doesn't have two blue, and then I win the game from there. I just need to survive one turn. I'm gonna float a green. I'm gonna play an Amulet of Vigor. This will be followed. I have a green floating. Yes. By a Colony Garden. Land drop. Not only land drop, but I did tell you, I only play plants. You play like Five plans into the game so far. <laughs> it, will, it will come in untapped? Yes. Now I'll pay three. And no, I lied. I don't only play plans. I'm going to play an obstinate ballad. All right, you go to 12. I do. Can you beat this? I hope so. Oh, I don't like your confidence. I go. Yes. You're 12, and this is still a 3-4. Yep. Two confident triggers. Let's go. You don't have any five drops, so at least this is not your last. We're surviving. All right, let's go. Okay. Eight, that's good. Forest. So you take two, you go to seven. Okay, seven to 12. Profit turn. Land drop. Land drop. This might be good enough. Oh, don't do math. Ooh, that's good. That's it. That's it. I got it. I got you. Terminate your bail off. Okay. Abrupt decay your plant. Oh, abrupt decay my plant, not even my amulet? Lightning bolt your plant. Oh, come on. And then attack you for 12. Is this are four? And I even have two more. Oh, I still had all these. I'm gonna have a good Okay, next game. So this is it. We're going to game three. And for people at home that haven't seen the last time we did this, we're trying to find the best deck in modern ever. We're getting to the bottom of this. We started with your community, the people that are subscribers to the channel. Don't mind subscribing if you are not yet, by the way. We gave you the opportunity to vote every year for a deck and came up with 14 decks. Then we played them against each other in rounds of Swiss until we got a top eight. And now we're playing every single, single elimination round. Any deck that doesn't win around here gets knocked out. And one of these two decks is not making it to the quarterfinals. Andrea, it's go time. Let's go for it the third game. Whoever wins this match moves on to the quarterfinals. Whoever loses this match, the deck is knocked out of the tournament. A death ray shaman in my opening end. I've been waiting for a bunch. I'll say I have ancient grudge. I like this hand. You can go. I will mulligan this. <laughs> I mean, this deck has summer bloom and it has titan, but the lines are just kind of awkward. I don't have an amulet. I don't have any digging. This is not a hand that wins against John. As I said, this deck is pretty good at mulliganing. I only need three cards to win. I have most of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna bottom this one. And I am going first. Yes. Your discard spells in the rare, they're no good here. No, why? I'm gonna play a gemstone mine. Tippy tap it a little bit. Da 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 da! I will play an amulet of vigor. <laughs> on the battlefield now. It's okay, I have no ways to deal with it ever. Never, no. No. It's impossible for red and green to, de to destroy the artifacts. Okay. I'll go for a card that is currently banned in both modern and legacy. Definition. It's a good one. Pass the turn. Some say it should be unbound. They're wrong. <laughs> Are they? Well, <laughs> you will show us now, I assume. <laughs> I'll use a counter on my gemstone mine. I'll play an ancient stone. Go ahead. I'll look at the top five cards of my library. For a while in modern, 
ancient steerings actually got like every eyes was on it because they wanted to ban the card. It was played in Tron, in Amulet Vigor, in, uh, you know. Because colorless spells are good. Yeah, because like everyone was like, oh, you banned Faithless Looting, you gotta ban ancient steerings too now. And now the card gets there and played in. I will deck. show you Amulet Vigor. Wow, again? Again! Too bad I don't have any floating mana to cast it. Oh, I'm gonna play a Civic Grove Chamber. It's gonna return the gemstone mine to my hand because it was gonna die anyways. Amulet of Vigor will enter tapped. Oh, no, wait, it won't. I have an Amulet of Vigor. I will tap it and I'll cast a Severed Vision. Yes. I'll draw a card. And then I'll scry two. Both of these are gonna go to the bottom. Okay. I do have a floating mana though. And I'm gonna use it for another Amulet of Vigor. I'm tapping draw. I'll play a Verda Catacomb. Yes. Taking one or three. Three, three. Overgrown Tomb. And then I'll play my Cyber card. Ancient Witch. Oh! Oh, you even get to. F wow! And then, thanks to my death for Shaman being a Mana Dork, as well as a card that deals two damage in and gains life. Wow! I'll kill that too. Andrea, that's a turn! I'll pass you. How does it feel now? I was so confident. <laughs> Wow! You know, they said that Jand always loses game one and then just always gets better post sideboard. I will play the gemstone mine. I'd say that everything is easier once you start with a shaman. And there's a three counters on it. Yes. I don't do anything else, I'll pass it. Oh, nice. Draw. Unfortunately, I ran out of lands in my graveyard, so this shaman is just attacking you for one. For one. I'll play a tap land, and then I'll play a dark confidence. Okay. Your turn. I'll draw. You know what? I feel like this is good enough here. I'll just yeah. play out an obstinate ballad. An honest to god 4-4 four four that gains me four life. You have 23. 23. Okay, so Dark Confident triggers. Yep. Oh, <laughs> must be nice. I was, I kept on thinking why there aren't Voodoo Footils and lands like that because they weren't legal. Yeah! I kept on drawing like Misty Rainforest and Marsh Flats. Because they were and from like, Onslaught at the time. They, they, they weren't modern legal. Council of Tarkir wasn't, uh, you know, 2014. People it all makes were sense waiting now. For them. Yes. This is 2012. All uh, right. Wow, how the times have changed. You're off the turn. <laughs> I'll play Misty Rainforest. Actually, I drew a great card for turn. Which I probably the Misty Rainforest? Mm, yeah, that too, yeah. I'll play a uh, Liliana of the No! <laughs> My obstinate ballad! I spent four honest mana on this. That goes. And then I want to Thought Seize you. So I'll take five damage. I go to 12. I mean, my hand was kind of disappointing, but now it's even worse. Oh. Bye bye, sleight of hand. And then I will... Uh, and then I will use my Birds of Paradise again for another. Definitely. Imagine if Birds of Paradise also just dealt two damage to your opponent and, and hose the life. graveyard and gained two life. <laughs> and he's a one two that doesn't die to every pink spell. <laughs> I'm going to transmute with my Tolaria West. It's gonna get a spell that costs nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are usually pretty bad. What is it? It's gonna be a Summoner's Pact. Play this, some grow Chamber and rescue a Gemstone Mine once more. All right, I'm okay. going. Dark Confident triggers. Another Trait of Village. Wow, you are not being punished for that Dark Confident at all. And then I am going to do a play that I haven't done in a long time. Are you going to Blight me? First, let's discard a card. No, Andrea. Yes. I'm going to discard this Mana Confluence. And then it's no! Lightning. No, <laughs> Andrea. Ouch. Three damage to you and discard wow. two cards. Do you have any lands in the graveyard? So many. Woo, give me one. And then I'll play a Tarmogoy. Oh, wow. And then I'll play another Trait of Village. And attack you for three. I will draw a card. I will cast. I'll go digging for another amulet. Yeah. Not that it will help me now. Yeah. This feels bad, Ender. Mm. But with my Ancient Stirring, I will get a Radiant Power. <laughs> I mean, at least you have six mountain, six lands for a top deck. Yeah, if, if I top deck a summoner's pack, or a, I'm gonna gain two. So you go 17, 17 to 12, on top and draw. Yes. First, they're confident. Marsh flats, why not? Never punished. I'll, um, I don't like how you put those tree top villages aside. 11. Uh, Car, can you please do a um, Tarmogoth count? Oh no. <laughs> 
I have when three is times. Three? Five, five, six. Wow. Five, six. And you are right. Am I dead? I'm at 17. So I can't be dead, I'm at 17. Yeah, that's what... That's what dead people say. All right, then. Let's do this. Let's only attack with one creative village. So it's going to be 10 damage. Okay, I'm at 7. Yeah, we don't have really fancy we would have died this turn. I'll play another DRC, another Detra Shaman, take up Liliana, and uh, yeah, it's your turn. Wow. This is my last Titan draw of the tournament. Pass you. Woo! Good John game. Wins. Wow. Andrea Mengucci, you knocked Bloom Titan out of the tournament. You're yes. moving on to the semifinals. It's good. It feels good. John them out, they say, and I did. You, you, yeah, you jundered me out on that. The, I don't, there's not much I could do against the flurry of discard spells. I, I need a few, a combination of good cards to get her to win the game. The removal spells, it's just, I mean, you have a clock. Yeah, I feel like the games were very close. Like maybe the third one was the less close, but just because I drew Ancient Grudge, otherwise I would have lost that game easily the next turn. That turn was a blowout. <laughs> yeah. Now, you guys at home, if you enjoyed this, we're doing a whole tournament. We had you guys at home, the subscribers, by the way, if you're not subscribed, there's a button. We really greatly appreciate it because it takes a lot of time to fly Andrea Mangucci over to Berlin and assemble all these decks. And then we put them through rounds of Swiss. And now we have the eight best decks from all those steps and they're facing out in single elimination rounds. Next week, we're going to see Eldrazi Winter, Ooh. the terror, face off against Grixis Death Shadow. We can't wait. And in the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.